que nos va a presentar algo muy hermoso y espero que les guste. ¿Listos? Buenas noches. Um, I'm so blessed, blessed, blessed to be here. And I am coming tonight to try to offer a little bit of hope. Gracias, estoy, me siento muy bendecida de estar aquí esta noche. Pero quiero, lo que quiero traer ahorita es un mensaje de esperanza. Uh, my mother and father uh, attended events just like this in the 60s and the 70s. They marched and they signed petitions and they protested for equal fair rights. Mi mamá y mi papá en los 60s and los 70s marcharon y firmaron peticiones así como estas y por los derechos civiles. And we haven't gotten everywhere that we want to be yet, but we've come a long way. So I hope to offer you some type of hope and inspiration tonight that that will happen for immigration reform here in America. No hemos llegado todavía donde queremos llegar, pero sí hemos caminado un camino muy largo. Y tenemos que seguir construyendo esa esperanza para nosotros, pero también para América. Bueno, este es un poema que le voy a decir. Ella lo va a decir en inglés, no va a haber traducción. Pero es un poema especial para estos, este evento. Una América con coraje. She is beautiful, wide eyes and eager, an innocent, soft soul. She is a curious believer. She opens her arms and I understand, hug. She smiles with wild emotion and I translate, love. She is the best little thing that her parents could ever conceive. The best of both of their worlds, she gives life unequivocally. She is African American and Brazilian, legal by default. Born on these shores to a citizen of a father and an illegal mother, she is everything and nothing at all. Torn identity riding the suspicious wave of being other in America, mixed culture, mixed race, legal, illegal, citizen, alien, naturalized, desensitized, foreigner, native, what will we tell her? Who will she be when it comes time to choose sides? What will we teach her of her identity? I see America not for what she is, but for who she can become, fair and equal, honoring the creed that she is said to be built upon. I see within her borders hope in the darkest of places. I see freedom in disparity and liberty in the most diverse of faces. I see risk for reward because oppression is worse than death. I see opportunity in education up north, down south, in the east and out west. I see love in America. I see hope that cannot fail. But I am nothing more than a blind, blind dreamer if I can't see it for my brother and my sister as well. If the same equality doesn't extend across the aisle, if your inalienable rights aren't at all worth my while, if our higher education and pristine health care aren't available for you in this nation since you weren't born here, or your English isn't clear, or perhaps because your otherness is something to fear, maybe our justice and freedom isn't all that it seems if you can wake up in America and not feel free to chase your dreams. What? What will I tell my niece and brown girls just like her? With accents and otherness, will they be valued in this world? What will we tell our children? What is the message for the next generation? Will they inherit a society that honors diversity or will they be the victims of modern day segregation? I hope that their wide eyes will be full of possibility and not bogged down by the same fears of their fathers and mothers. I hope their smiles will be hope mixed with sincerity and not turned to frown by the hatred of others. I hope they will love America because she kept her bargain as the dream maker. And I hope they will find peace 
and security and be more stronger, more loving, more America, braver. Woo!